Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll work on the rental agreement example, and I'm going to be working on the rental agreement content type. I'm going to create that. So I'll go into my newly created site collection, the root site in that site collection, and there I'll go into site settings, find under the web designer galleries, I'll find the site content types. There I'll create a new content type, and that's going to be a rental agreement. And I'm going to base that on the list content type and on the item. I'm going to start from scratch. That's the simplest one. It only has the title field. And then I'm going to place it in the existing group Contoso so that I have all my Contoso content types in one place. That's always a good idea. And then I'll start adding fields here. So the title, I can keep that as it is. That is a name of the rental agreement. And then I'm going to start adding uh, new site columns. Add from new site column. Let's put this to the side. Those are the fields we're going to create eventually. Hopefully that will work without too much scrolling. So I'll start with the square meters like that. And that's of course going to be a number. And I'm going to keep that with the decimals. Usually I don't like the decimals, but in this case we could actually get rental agreements for partial numbers of meters too. Place that in the Contoso group. And then continue on the next one. Square meters is there. Start date and end date. We can actually use existing site columns for that. And to find one, I'll just type in ST and I'll find start date right there. So I'll double click that one and then I'll do type END for end dates. Double click that. And now I've added those two columns and um, I can press OK. So we're moving ahead. So uh, next one is the de department, and we're going to use an existing site column there also. I already have one that I created called Contoso Department. There it is. So I'm going to add that one. And then we have only two more to go. Renewal date. That's a new one. So I'm going to add from a um, new site column. And eventually I will create a workflow that sets that if it's empty. So I'll put that in the description already while I create this. That's what I'm going to do. Finally, we are at the um, responsible person. And a new column for that. And that's of course going to be a personal group field. And I'm going to put that in the Contoso columns again. All right, there I have my content type. I've created all the site columns and um, I'm all done with the content type. In the next demo, I'll show you how to use that content type in a list. Thank you for watching this demonstration.